and gentlemen, this is Show Offs. It's just like the musical Hairspray, but a little less musical and a lot more Hairspray. <laughs> And we've got a great show. Everything you're about to see is completely and 100% improvised, down to the music from our band, the sound effects from Trent. Lauren, this? Yeah, oh, no! And Sarah? <laughs> yeah, that's it. All improvised. And a lot of it is based on suggestions that I get from our studio audience. Now, to kick things off, we're going to give you a little sample, a tease of three separate genres that will be chosen by our studio audience. The cast will perform a short scene from that genre, and then the audience gets to pick which play or musical they want to see the full version of. Does that sound good, audience? Of course it does. This audience wants to see a fun show. We're going to give it to you, but the first thing we have to do is find out what our teams are. So, Trent, make some computer noise. Computer, do your thing. Sort the teams. Here we go. All right. So we have Lisa and Jake, Sarah and McLean, and Haley and Lauren. The teams are sorted, and now, audience, please vote by using your voting device that will make a piercing sound that only dogs can hear, and then choose a genre for our first team. The choices are Western, Broadway Today, Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Golden Age Musical. Audience, vote now. What are you voting for? Yell it out. What do you want to see? Close the poll. Broadway Today. For a Broadway musical, why don't we get Haley and Lauren? Oh my yeah. Okay. Awesome. And now for this, uh, give me one word. Give me one word. Airplane? Airplane, airplane. Now give me a question. Don't think about airplane. Give me another question. Who took my airplane? Is the name of the song. Who took my airplane? Make it work. Show off. Sounded good. All right, we need another genre for our next team. Audience, what do you want to see? A Western, science fiction, fantasy, or golden age musical? Vote now. What are you voting for? Close the poll. Science fiction. Jake, Lisa, dare you? We accept. OK. Yeah. Come on out. OK, for this, uh, give me a modern problem. What's something that bothers you? What? What do you say? Social media. Social media? Social media. Social media is a problem. Well, is it a problem in the future? Let's find out. Show off. Wait, I don't understand. I didn't post this status. Uh, I, I didn't Did you need do to. it, Janine? I, I didn't do it. Wait, you look suspicious. All right, I did it. I did it, and I don't care who knows it. It says, I'm taking over the world forever. Whoa! <laughs> Drama. Okay, we have another genre for our next team, but what will it be? Audience, take out those remotes and tell us what you want to see. Western, fantasy, or golden age musical? Whoa, okay. Close the polls. It's obvious. People want to see a Western, so do I. Now, for this Western, I actually want to hear a song. Okay, I want to hear a, I want to hear a Western vibe song. And what's this song about? Give me something. What are you saying? Prison? Prison. This song is called the Prison Blues. Show up. You've embarked me twice, three more times. I'm not gonna take it. Good, 
you have three amazing genres, so we're gonna come over to our studio audience and let them decide which genre they wanna see fully played out. Was it Lisa and Jake with the science fiction, McLean and Sarah with the Western, or Haley and Lauren with Broadway Today? You decide which one you wanna see the full version of. Audience, vote now. Vote. Close the polls. There it is. We're doing Broadway. We have Broadway today is the Whoa. genre. Now it's time for our cast to go back and get into your costumes. Exit, stage left. All right, while the cast gets dressed, we're gonna go to Trent to tell us all about the Broadway today genre. Trent, take it away. In Broadway today, we get the spectacle of the Broadway stage, where anything you can imagine can be set to song and dance. It's powerful acting, heart-thumping music, and gravity-defying choreography. Think Hamilton, Les Mis, or Dear Evan Hansen. All right, Trent, you did it again. Well, let's get the cast back out here. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the show off. <laughs> Don't forget, the song was called Who Took My Airplane, but we don't have a name for this Broadway Today musical. So what should the name be, folks? High School Planes. High School Planes? High School Planes. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first and last time ever, I'm proud to present High School Planes. You dropped a bunch of stuff. You're still falling. You're still falling. Uh, no! Whoa! 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 Okay, you're, you're done falling. I'm so sorry. You're gonna wanna kinda wanna watch out where you're going. I, 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 did, I didn't think you, you saw me. I, I didn't think I saw you either. Do you have the, the mechanical pencils or the, or the regular? Because I don't remember what my mom packed in my bag. I don't remember. Bag. My mom packed in my bag too. Uh, okay, then we'll just like go have these. Okay. Hey guys. Uh, uh, you know you're ten minutes late for my art class. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Actually, you know what? You know what? This teacher seems so nice, but I think she's mad right now. So I don't do a new entrance. This time you're really mad, okay? Where are my students? Oh, geez, Louise. You, you, get in my classroom right now! It's our time. Create, create. Oh, okay. Be I'm original. Sorry. Especially you, Persephone, get, go! All right, now you're super nice. You're very talented. You're excited about the first day of school too, right? Oh, you sing, sing. Yeah. Gosh, it seems like only yesterday I was walking these halls, not sure which way my life would go. Did I want to be a history major or a math professor? I know. You're smiling so much while you sing. <laughs> Your face is pretty good. Jeez 
Louise Persephone, you sure were late to class, though. Yeah, late much? <laughs> don't listen to the Kiln kids. We're the Kiln kids because you get burned. Yeah, don't get too close. And it's going to be a slow burn. <laughs> Over here, same song, keep going. Oh, so much pressure to be cool. My older brother got such good grades. I'm not so smart, who cares anyway? I don't care what the teachers say. You don't have to go to university. Cause you can play to learn life skills and get a trade. That's what I'm gonna do someday. other. Hey, Bucky. Uh, yeah, Brandon? I know we're not really like friends anymore like we used to be in not seventh grade. Not at all. We really fell apart after seventh grade. You... What happened? What, what was What was the event that broke you guys up? We bumped into each other in the hall and I fell for a half an hour. <laughs> it's a pattern with you, bro. You gotta watch where you're going. I'm yeah, just... pause, pause. Then we're gonna go to the audience suggestion box and this is something that you have to tell them. You, you never remember. My name Jeff. <laughs> Not Brandon. Oh, if that's what's a big problem. You never, you didn't pay attention to me, man. I got lots of concussions, man. <laughs> but listen, Bucky. Yeah, got... Brandon or Jeff. <laughs> Look, there's this girl in my art class, Persephone. <gasps> Persephone? Yeah, I was hoping you could. I don't know. She seems like the type of girl that. I would like, but I don't know how to talk to her. She's got perfect eyes, doesn't she? Yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> I could just tell by the way you're talking about her. <laughs> I was just hoping that maybe you could like help me talk. To, I don't know. You're just so personable and I just am so. I have an idea, you know what? Why don't you guys do a German, do this song in, in German? <laughs> Jesus Mädchen. Ich liebe dieses Mädchen. Ich liebe sie auch. Die Augen sind schön. Die sind schön. Das habe ich. English, English now, English. Ich, I wish that I could have her. So do I. But I wish it more. I don't know if he knows. I wish that he could tell her. Why he, I mean me. I wish that I could Back tell to German. her. Hilf mir. Michael Scott, Staren, Darren, Michael, Jerry, Erdem, Stereo. German. Gottfried, Dino. English, English. Give her this note for me. 
Hold on, go back. Wait, wait. Say that. Take that back. You're gonna give him a note from you. It's gonna come from the audience suggestion box. Give her. Don't the... read it yet. Give Pass her... the note. But don't read it until it gets to her. Give her this note for me, and make sure she knows I sent it. You got it, buddy. <laughs> it's Jeff. in your room. Well, Persephone, it may surprise you to know that I don't have very many friends. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. I mean, because I really look up to you and the way you do your hair and, and something, I mean, oh. just reminds me, I feel like I could share a part of myself with you that I don't show a lot of people. Oh. <sighs> Persephone. <laughs> Did you make me something? Uh, what? These are all of the things that I make oh my when I'm at home. A little origami swan? <laughs> yes. Oh, why, this is one of those fun little <laughs> dating game ones. Yes, oh, yes, yes. What no, else? What else is there? Yes, what else? No, this is a baby. <laughs> what else? What else is there? Just, oh, my goodness. This is a, this is a tambourine. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, oh, it makes oh, noise. Oh, that's fun. Yes, it works. Oh, my gosh. And there's one last thing. This, this is, oh, my gosh, a room. I could, I could use this in my home. It's made out of paper, but it would clean everything. And I can't this believe your talent. Is my prized possession. My father used to fly back when he had a job. It's the model of airplane that he flew. He called it old sky blue. But New it's choice. just a seven. He called it. He called it my good 747. <laughs> <laughs> he had so many adventures on my good 747, and I'm going to give it to him for his birthday. I think you're uh, a rare talent. Well, sing it. The art that's in your heart has the power to change the world. That plane that you built could make everyone think about the magical flight. <laughs> The day and the night. That's what art does. That's what art does. I can set humanity free. That's what art does. From the burdens of society. Persephone. Hey, hey, Bucky. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's your name, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's also a term of endearment, and but it was a good guess. Yeah, Bucky. Oh, I, I heard, I heard Jeff say that to you. I wasn't listening to your conversation behind the lockers, but I did hear part of it. Oh, that's okay. Brandon and I go way back. Um, uh, his name is Jeff, by the way. How did you first meet Jeff? Uh, Brad and I knew each other from... Is it Greg or was Jeff? <laughs> Jeff and I were friends in a band, four and a half years old. We were in a band called Wee 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 Wee. And uh, it didn't last super long, but we hit the top 10 in the kids' charts. And explain what kids' charts are. They're the charts that uh, Jeff and I made by ourselves, and we just, like, drew them on... <laughs> sometimes we made the top of them. Sometimes, for some reason, we didn't let ourselves... <laughs> We were trying to keep ourselves humble a little bit. Um, we were four and a half, you have to remember that. Um, because when you're four and a half, you just want to stay humble. All right, back to the, back to the show. So Jeff wanted me to give you this note. Um, we're not allowed to have notes in class. I'm not going to tattle on you this time, but just so you know. Excuse me while I blow up this air mattress. Okay, well now what does that mean to you? When my father lost his job, 
we also lost all our beds. So my father, he came home and he said, sweetie, I love you so much. But tonight, you, you're gonna have to sleep on an air mattress. And that's what he said to me. He said, Persephone, excuse me while I blow up this air mattress. How did he know that? Just don't pass any more notes and everything will be cool, I think. <laughs> Oh, wait, she's opening her locker. Kathy! That's right, Kathy Kiln. Kathy Kiln? Did you see my, my, my air, my air creatures and things are Gosh, gone? Gosh, guess you shouldn't have been flirting with all the boys. Yeah, this is Did the song from before. Happened? about this. Freak out on them, Lisa. Are you kidding me? This is like your, your only friend, and I'm like your sister, and then you, she made you her an airplane, and I didn't even get one, and I'm... Christy, Christy Kiln, it's me, your sister. You I gotta know. understand this. I don't even know who you are right now. <laughs> I don't even know what you, you said, and then you. I made you a chapstick. <gasps> Airplane. Oh my goodness. It's friendship in paper form. I didn't feel anything in my life. I was dead inside, but then I felt friendship folded together and held together by this paper art. I am so proud of you, Kathy, for having a feeling. Uh -oh. You know, it's all thanks to Persephone. I never would have felt anything without her art. Listen. Hey, Bucky. You changed them. Yeah. I found our chart. Kids chart? Kids chart. <laughs> this is the one that we put ourselves number three for some reason. Man, we were so close to the numbers for one and number two that and year. And what was the song title for your band? <laughs> so glad that we're best friends and that we wrote Once a Carney, Always a Carney together. <laughs> Such a good song. Once a Carney, always a Carney. Yeah, it really makes sense. When you don't fit in, you travel around, uh-huh, until you find
special guests, Lauren and Sarah. I'm your host, Casey Jones. See you next time on Show Off. Oh, it's a party.